maybe. Um, what did you say, Glenn, about the place? Well, just that Kimberton uh, was a part of our community for a long time. They were down in Ottsville uh, behind Brigadoon and doing a great job there. And over the last two or three years, uh, we had heard that they had growing pains and that their store was um, not large enough for uh, all the customer base that they had gained in the community. And so over the last uh, three years, we were able to put together a, um, a plan or whatever the right word is, to put a new store up for them. And uh, Mark and Anna Marie Passerini, who had uh, the old Prisky ice cream stand and turned it into Serafina's Cafe, um, were also part of the team. And uh, actually Mark himself, Anna Marie's husband, who does carpentry and is sort of uh, cabinet work, did a lot of the cabinet work here, said why make two separate entities, let's try to put it all together and have the restaurant at one end and the grocery store at the other. So that turned out to be a great idea that Mark came up with. Um, and then we just worked through the process of getting the plans drawn, getting into the township, working with the planning commission and the supervisors, um, our township engineer Bob Wynn, Steve Bala, who is the lead engineer for Nakamix and Township, and um, they were all very helpful in uh, making it happen. Um, my own local engineer from Cameron Associates in Quakertown uh, worked very well with the township and with Bob Wynn's office. And Slosher Steel uh, supplied the building and put it up, and um, a bunch of the local craftsmen and companies, including Waring's Lumber and M&W and Cooper Mechanical and far as way as uh, Finkel's in Lambertville, uh, Steve Skillman down there, and John K. Electric from uh, down in the Holland area did all the electrical work, sent one of his lead guys up here who did an amazing job at fitting the store out. Um, just have had a plumber uh, from MS Mechanical, Mike, uh, has done an unbelievable job of putting all the sinks and, and faucets and everything else that you need to make this place work together. Um, it's just been a great process of local people working together, right down to our code enforcement officer, um, Jim Kopchak who uh, did all the inspections and uh, kept everything going in a uh, orderly, orderly fashion, helping us get through the process as quick as we could to get an occupancy permit to get the store up and running. So it's been, um, it's been a very, very, very interesting uh, last uh, two years of being able to accomplish something that uh, is as good as it can be for the community. So. And thanks for you guys coming out today. It's nice to see some young men from uh, Palisades High School uh, doing a good job for our community also. So, thanks a lot. Thank you very much and everything you've done for our community. You're welcome. We're here with Brian Fitzpatrick. Um, so how will Kimberton Whole Foods benefit our area and people around there? Yeah, this is a great day. You know, we're here for the uh, for the opening. And um, he's actually, Terry's actually been in business for 30 plus years. He started as a small farm and it's progressively grown and uh, he says he's expanded the capacity by about four times here so uh, it's the, the great thing about a Whole Foods market like this most of it is locally sourced food, milk, dairy, uh, a lot of um, you know uh, agricultural products, uh, fruits and vegetables so that's really the neat thing about it not only is it healthier because it's locally sourced it benefits our local farmers our local agricultural community and it's healthier so uh, it's a win-win all, all the way around. Oh, thank you very much. You've been at this for 30 plus years, starting in a farm in Chester County, and here they are. Uh, that's a picture of success right there. So, uh, I was in D.C. yesterday, and we came back because we wanted to present with a flag uh, that we had flown over the Capitol uh, in your honor, sir. There you go. So, congratulations.
Wonderful. Well, I want to thank uh, and welcome the members of the uh, West County Chamber. Thanks so much for coming out on the coldest day of the week. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, many thanks really to the Oslo community. For us, really, it goes out about 25, 30 miles. Uh, <laughs> Treated very well up here. We're very, very, very appreciative. Uh, I thank Glenn, Gb for making this possible. He and his team uh, rose to every challenge. Wouldn't you say? For every challenge, I had an answer and it happened quickly. It was, uh, it, was uh, it was great. We're really uh, feel really blessed to be here. Uh, to our neighbors, Anna Maria and uh, um, Mark Passerini. Uh, have just been so supportive for us during this process. Uh, Mark and son Mark were in here. They did all the cabinet work for us. All sorts of stuff, stuff for plant and whatever. Um, and the thing has been great. The yeah, has been great. And we're really happy to have you here. We really appreciate it. Um, thanks also to the township supervisors for uh, supporting us along the way in the planning commission um, and for the, uh, what was it that we got plan a special occupancy? Because you know, you can see we don't have a front entrance yet. Um, still but waiting for PennDOT. We're still waiting for PennDOT, but uh, maybe Mr. Fitzpatrick can help us move out. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm waiting till the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's been a long time trying to get that permit, but it's, it's, we're glad to be open even if we have to come in the back. Uh, also, a special thanks to uh, uh, the, the township meeting. Uh, the uh, fire chief from the Oslo Fire Company really spoke up on our behalf, which was uh, just an unexpected surprise. And I, I don't know if he's here, but... Bill's not here. Bill's here. Bill's not here, Bill, but, but, he, but he did help along the way. He yeah. certainly did. Um, the code officials for uh, um, Knox and Mixon, um, uh, put us through the rigors of what we had to do. Uh, dotted all the I's and crossed all the T's, and we did. And I'm glad that we got um, that we passed. And I also like to thank our co-workers, Cameron Whole Foods and Jerry. So I'm here with Terry, the owner of Kimberton Whole Foods. Or the I'm here today for the grand opening. Anything like to say? Well, it's. Uh, been a great day with the Upper Bucks uh, uh, County um, Chamber of Commerce and um, it looks like a great turnout for our first day of our three-day uh, grand opening so we're very excited. So is there uh, can you tell us a little about the history of this business? Well we started in uh, on a farm in uh, northern Chester County in uh, 1986 so we're in uh, our 32nd or 33rd year of business. Um, and, uh, you know, we were on the farm for about seven years in a small farm store, and then we moved into the little town of Kimberton, and that's where we came up with our name of Kimberton, and because we sell, uh, you know, whole food type products, we called ourselves Kimberton Whole Foods. and. Um, that was in 1994. Uh, we had added a second store in 2003, a third store in 2007. Came to Oddsville in 2008 um, and uh, invited up by the owner of the Brigadoon Coffee Shop, who was you know, a great partner for us because he had the, the coffee shop, which he still does, which is fantastic. Uh, and we've been here for the last 10 and a half years. And we just grew the business so much uh, in this community that we'd run out of space. And so with uh, Glenn Neavy, uh, who owns this the shopping center in this area, uh, we got talking a couple years ago and he um, uh, asked how big a store we wanted that would include Serafina's Cafe. Uh, we said, how about, because I think he had was able to do 15,000 square feet. We said that would be great. And two years later, here we go. So it's, uh, um, you know, we've, we've, uh, uh, our, you know, our primary focus, although we sell a little bit of every food category or a lot of every food category, is to support local businesses, local vendors, local farmers, and, uh, you know, proud to say that we probably have over 200 
local companies that we work with. So um, working with local companies, can you tell us a little bit about your commitment and connections with the local farmers? Well, we've developed, I mean, we came from a farm. We started out as uh, on a 400 acre organic um, dairy farm. So that was our roots. And the reason we had the farm store was to try to help the farm break even because the farm was losing a lot of money. Um, and not only did we have the farm store, then we created a yogurt product which we sell called Seven Stars Yogurt, which is the number one selling um, uh, yogurt in the mid-Atlantic region in the, in the natural foods channel. So it's, since we've left, it's gotten bigger and bigger and it's still made on the farm. So, so of course we have that relationship because it's just a couple miles from our main store. But we have a number of uh, relationships we've had for many, many years with dairy farms and, and poultry producers, egg producers, beef producer um, that have really form uh, a really core set of, of the, like your basic and produce people, your, your meat meat and potatoes uh, type of food. So it's like natural foods is um, the same as, as not more conventional type foods. Uh, we tend to focus on things that are grown with uh, using organic farming methods um, versus uh, chemical inputs in agriculture. So that's, that's what we've done for many, many years. So we've just, kind of, we've stayed true to our roots, you know. Nice, nice. Um, so what do you think this Kemmertson moving here is going to do for our community and environment around here? Well, um, we, uh, uh, well we, we have, I don't know how many hundreds if not thousands of customers <laughs> which come from the local community but from, they also come from New Jersey. I talked to someone today who comes up from uh, Buckingham. Yesterday I was talking to somebody who was from Bethlehem, another person from Milford, New Jersey. So I guess we're kind of at a crossroads here on 412 and 611. Um, what we can do in the local community is, is try to establish more relationships with our local producers. Um, and uh, because of our cafe, we have a place where people can come together and meet. Um, and uh, a lot of our customers over time have gotten to know each other. Uh, so in a way, it, it can help create community. And I always think of community as kind of a place where people can meet other people in their community um, kind of by chance. That you didn't plan to meet, right? Because you get into, the, into all suburbia, it's so big that you may only see your friends because you make an appointment to. But a grocery store is a place where you come to shop and then you might see this person and that person. It's like going to a local bank or a school district. Um, that's to me, that's, that's what's what helps create a community and we'll, uh, because my community is an hour away from here, I don't really know exactly what this community is like, but the people that I've met up here I've, have been really great people, um, and uh, we're just glad to be here. So um, what do you think some of the main products that you sell here are, some of your biggest hits here? Uh, well, um, raw milk, we sell, uh, this community um, really enjoys drinking raw milk, which is generally not available at the bigger supermarkets. Um, we have grass-fed beef um, that is, has been very popular. We have five or six um, local eggs. Um, and when I say local, I, we, we define it as within 100 miles of our distribution center. Um, uh, produce, you know, most of our produce is organic. Plus we have, you know, a full line of uh, uh, Groceries, most most of them are, are organic, uh, and uh, and we strive really hard to, you know, be very competitive in our pricing on that. So, um, but I think it's it's uh, it's our local stuff, whether it's our honey or maple syrup, produce, and all the all the animal products that we that we uh, that we can source locally that that make us unique. So. That'll wrap it up for Terry. Is there anything you'd like to say for the community? 
Well, just thank you very much and uh, come on in. We have a really great staff here, really nice people. I've spent a lot of time uh, just getting this store open with the team that's here more so than uh, actually all, almost all the years before and it's been a real pleasure to, to work with them and, and with the builder here, Glenn Neby and his crew of, of plumber and carpenters and painters and uh, Anna Marie and, uh, and Maria and Mark Passerini who have Serafinas. Um, there's a real sense of community here. Uh, I would say more so than almost all of our other stores. And so it's, that's been a lot of fun. And it's also nice to look out and see some fields. That's really, you know, our last store was in a strip mall. <laughs> so anyway, we're just grateful to be here. And we're just down the road from school. Mm -hmm. so. All right, that's Terry from Kemberton Whole Foods. Now let's go get something to eat. Thank you.